Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And just because you see that bell look like it's already clicked, click on it. Make sure the check mark is beside all. I noticed that a lot of channels that I follow, I think I have the bell clicked. And when I click on it, I realize I'm not. But anyway, that's no here or there. I am here to do a kit review on Pippa by Natalie Blake, but what you're looking at is Lottie by Laura Lee Eagle. So I decided to put the two of them together for a specific reason, so hang tight. I'm going to do a size comparison, and I'm also going to do a vinyl color comparison as well. Ah, you can thank me later, boo-boo. <laughs> anyway, um, like I was saying... <laughs> So you guys already seen Lottie. I did a Lottie review, but let me do it over really quickly for you guys again. Um, Lottie is 24 inches. And I don't know what the head circumference is, but she's well proportioned. I really love Lottie's face so much. So, so, so much. It didn't even matter to me. I didn't care if I liked the limbs or not. But just so happened, I really like her hands. I like that she has open hands and separate fingers and they're long and just, I just, I, I really love her hands. I love, um, her size is really nice. Um, her legs, you guys know I'm not like a super bent leg person, so they're not too bent, so that's good. Um, her feet, her legs actually remind me a lot, like I said it in the last review, reminds me a lot of Maddie by Bonnie Brown. Um where that foot kind of goes, you know, kind of pointed like. So when putting on shoes, it's a little challenging, but um, not too much. You know, you just actually, they're not going to be challenging at all. Because, yeah, well, getting it in. Because see how that one is kind of twisted to the side, but you just get the shoes a little bit bigger oh you guys can't even see what I was showing you I was showing you the feet and let's zoom in to what I was trying to show you guys so I was trying to show you how the foot this foot is kind of turned over to the side a little bit see oh wait here we go wait wait we're too zoomed out hey come on come on come on all right so you see how it's kind of twisted to the side a little bit? That that sometimes can be a challenge when you're putting them on shoes. But good thing my babies don't typically wear shoes. <laughs> so I shouldn't really complain. Sometimes they wear sandals. But, you know, we, we figure out how to make things work, right? So I'm going to sit her to the side right now. She's in regular vinyl. Um, I'm pretty sure that... Pippa is in a German vinyl. Now, you guys know I'm not much of a German vinyl girl, but I will have to say in this case, I think I would, if I, if, as long as I can get this paint to, to adhere to this vinyl, uh -huh, I will probably prefer the German vinyl over the regular vinyl, and I'll tell you why. Lately, and this has nothing and nothing against these sculptors, I have learned and been well educated and informed that they have no say in what color the vinyl, the manufacturer send the, um, the factory send the vinyl back. So, with that being said, the new vinyl that's coming out now ever since, you know, the big debacle of them shutting down and opening back up has been very orange. Now the German vinyl is a more neutral color, a lot more used to what we had before I tried that to be. Cause listen, I was setting them up and Lottie head fell off and rolled behind the, the bin. Baby, listen, try not to let this head fall. Okay, they don't have no eyes in, don't worry about it. They ain't woke yet. Some of y'all still ain't woke either, but we ain't gonna talk about that. So, but if you look at them, look at the difference in the vinyl. And this is actually a little off. Here we go. Let's see if we get it. This is actually making them look a little bit. She's actually, yeah, unless it shows different when I upload, but she's actually more oranger 
oranger <laughs> orangey orange she's more orange than what she's showing so but let's get into the kit review so being that i have two of them we're gonna i'm gonna be demonstrating with one that's not assembled for the pippa now pippa is said to be 26 inches she has fairly straight legs now i will say that when i i thought that she had reused um betty blick betty uh, limbs and um i didn't realize until after the fact after i ordered that she used zoe the previous edition limbs i was a little bummed out about that because one of the knees looked like it's kind of been like chewed up and spit back out so to speak but I, I get what she was going she was trying to do a fat knee my knee probably looked like that too actually when it's you know bent back so it I mean it's very accurate to a real child leg if they were standing in that position so the sculptor did did what a sculptor supposed to do I guess you know as real as possible and so actually in person it doesn't look as bad so some kind of way when I paint it, I'm going to try not to accentuate those little dents and rolls and stuff. But because she's a bigger baby, nine times out of ten, she's going to have on, you know, pants and stuff like that. So it, it'll be okay. But otherwise, let's get into it. Let me show you what I'm talking about with this leg. So that is the little fat roll. Um, it looks very natural, actually, in person. And she has some fat little chunk of chunk of legs. This baby is a little chub, okay? Um, but what I will say, like I said, the sculpting is absolutely beautiful on that leg. I won't lie. Um, the detail in it is nice. Um, I really love the feet. What I like about the feet on this baby is because this baby is a fat little baby, the feet actually matches that their fat feet look at those toes Wait, let me see let's see if y'all can see those toes look at those toes the toes look so real man i hope i could get the paint to stick right on this kit because the, the the feet on this thing is amazing i am so devastated that i don't you know i can't get uh one of my favorite artists to paint for me man Look at that feet. Oh my god. I mean that foot. That is just amazing. Look at the bottom of it. And see, this is what I love. This is what I love. This this is what I love right here. Is that it has detail at the bottom of the foot. Let's see. Come on, baby. Focus on them crinkles and wrinkles. Let me let me see if I can get it to do it. Stay still. Focus. Focus. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's try this. It's trying to focus on the face. Stop. Anyway, um, it has wrinkles in the. I mean, like little indentations in the foot, but it's not so deep and harsh that every paint is going to go into them cracks. I know like sculptors like to try to get as much detail and so, but I like when they consider the painter because, and that may not have been her purpose. Um, it could have been wore down in the factory, who knows, but however, I appreciate it because you don't have to fight with getting your paints down and that stuff. Beautiful foot feet. I love these feet. These are some of my favorite feet and they're a good size. I don't, I've, I have my tape measure there. I can measure it in for you guys in a little bit. But beautiful. I love the toes so much. I don't know what it is, but they just make me giggle and make me just want to tickle the toes because it just seems so real. This leg is absolutely beautiful. I love this knee. I love the fat thighs, the fat rolls. This baby is actually uh, probably fatter than um, Lottie, believe it or not. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right. So those are the legs. Oh, did I, let me see what the back of the legs look like. 
So the back of the legs, I like the back of the legs too. They got the little natural fat rolls. Okay, let me see what this, this leg doing in the back. Yep, similar. Okay, I pick up my COAs. I gotta file them away. Um, so let's get into the hands. Let's see. All right. This hand, so the hands are pretty expressive. Um, not my most favorite position, but it begins as a bigger baby. You can use that to have them be doing stuff, reaching for stuff. So great for posing. Um, open hands, fat, fat fingers, chubby hands like a chubby baby would be. Um, the hand, the arm is also simply but beautifully sculpted. I love inside the hand. Really nice. Realistic. Love that. And this one, the, the, the wrist is a little bit more flicked, flicked up. The hand is like, up, stop, in the name of love. Before you break my heart. Yeah, so anyway, these fingers are open, hands are uh, open fingers too. And the nail beds are really nice. Let's, whoa, stop it, girl. All right, so the nail beds are decent, really nice, actually. Let's see, there we go. Okay, it doesn't wanna focus. There we go. Same thing, chubby chub. Barely can see the elbow because it's so fat. Poor baby, must be a breastfed baby. All right. And this is the face. Let's get into the face. Oh my goodness. Look at those little plump, little juicy lips. Ugh, I know people are going to eat this kid up because we love us some plump lips in this community, don't we? Yes, God. Um, now this baby, I will say this baby, she's cute. She's definitely going to need eyes. And you probably could go wrong with painting those lips, but it's a lot of like detail. They got like ridges in the lips. Um, gosh, I wish you guys can see it. I wish it'll focus. Let's see. There we go. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna zoom in. Let's see if I zoom in. Don't mind my ugly hands. Let's try to get into these lips. Let's see if we can get them. You see that? So it's got the little ridges. And uh, these are her ears. Ears. Really nice ears. Okay, baby. Let me see if I could get, um, I was trying to show them toes. Let me see if I can get them toes back in a, it probably won't focus on the feet like it did on the face. Nope. Yes, it will. There you go. Oh my God, look at those feet. Even without paint on them, they look so real. I am so impressed with the feet <laughs> on this kit. Oh my gosh, I love it. So anyway, let's get back to this face. So she has a nice nose, nice face. I will, I will say though, this baby head is probably almost the size of my head, uh, you know, it's not that my head is, is super small, but because I do have a, a nice brain, okay? But this head is huge. But I think it's still proportionate to the baby. Um, when you weight a toddler, though, you have to weight that body. See how the body is not fully weighted? I mean, um, it's not weighted, but stuffed. You have to stuff that thing so it's so full to where it stands all the way up so she's not sitting and pushed in once this body is is stuffed the the proper way let me see if i can get over here and do it if i can lift her up without pulling her head off her body will see her body will extend to the point of let's see 
know if you guys can see. See, see, see. It, her body will, she will be taller, much taller. Um, the funny thing is too, if you put this baby with armatures, um, just know that the armatures are not going to make this baby stand, um, without, you're going to have to put them on like some hard bottoms or something like that because the way the feet, one of the, it's like one of them is like she's on her heel or her tippy toe, I think, I don't know, but so her her foot is kind of like this is not flat um so you would have to like stuff probably the bottom of the shoe to even her foot out in the shoe and then put her on a like a, a hard bottom shoe for her to be able to stand with you know with armatures i find that the armatures are so much work i just don't really like them a whole lot to be honest um and then also with the squeak noise i i just I like them, but they're a lot of work. I probably won't bother with putting an armature in. But her legs aren't so like just straight, straight out to it's irritating for a straight leg baby. It's kind of got a little bit of a, a bend still to it. So I I like I do like that. Um but I will say I, I will say that, um, I mean, you could always find other legs, but I, I think I, I wouldn't mess with this kit, but I know, you know, it's probably another kit out that I, I haven't seen that will work for it. Um, switching it out. I really like this kit sculpting. So I wouldn't change this one up actually um but I'm, I'm just really excited about both of these kits uh i i brought them on just because i just wanted to show like because she's bit her legs is bent and she's sitting down and her head is bigger um her as in um pippa pippa head is bigger than um lottie head but lottie head isn't that much smaller to be honest, Lonnie had got a pretty big size head. It's just their shape, their heads are shaped different. Um, her head is just round and straight up. And if I be honest, to be honest, Lottie head probably will require more rooting than Pippa. Cause Pippa really don't have much of, of a head. Her whole face, is elongated but her head the shape of her head is when you consider the the rooting space is going up and down and because her head is about almost the same height but it's elongated and it goes back is more rooting i think it's going to be a little bit more rooting that's just my opinion but i could be wrong um but either way, both of these is gonna be some serious rooting going on because their their heads are are big. Um, now, I don't usually do this because I don't usually combine kit reviews together. But I will say that if I be honest, Lottie face really draws me in, and she without her even having eyes in. It's just really, it, she just have such a captivating face. Um, I see this kit as a girl and a boy so easy. So, so, so easy. Um, in fact, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, ah, what? I don't even know what mine will be at the end of the day. I'll have to figure that out later. But Pippa is going to be gorgeous when she is painted. And I think she's going to be a girl. But she can also be a boy too. So I'm really excited for both of them. I'll be honest. I'm a really kind of nervous when I paint the orange vinyl. I feel like we're going back into backwards. Like the old vinyl. But the kid is so cute. I 
and both of them are a challenge this one is German and it's not you know you have to do a little bit extra stuff for it to start taking the paint and this one is orange so you have to neutralize a lot so um both of the vinyls are challenging but I, listen guys to be honest I'm just thankful that people are still producing kits and that you know sculptors are still sculpting and so I'm just excited that we still have kids, right? Can we get a thank you for that? Okay. Okay. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> yes, baby. Okay. So, and we got some lips to paint because, you know, a lot of these kids, baby, I be like, okay, so we supposed to just imagine it got a lip? <laughs> just draw a line. You just draw one line across. Zoop. That's the lip. Done. Lips painted. These babies, you got a little bit more to work with. You know what I mean? So... But I think they will be amazing as Caucasian baby, biracial babies, African American babies, um, Puerto Rican babies, whatever type of babies you want. Mexican babies, French babies, what, what, what other kind of babies we could be having. I don't know, but I I, I think they, they're very versatile, but I definitely want to see mine in um, AA african-american and a matter of fact i keep fighting it but i i need to reach out to somebody i've seen them working on a lottie and i'm like ah, ah. i keep trying to say no 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 don't ask don't ask don't ask but yeah anyway um that's what i got i got two of each kit um the lottie one of one of my lotties i do and this is something i don't do anymore but i did it then I have a first right of refusal pretty much and so and then the other one I supposed to paint for myself if I don't buy one from somebody else so I might paint both and sell both if I end up getting one for myself um my hair situation <laughs> I might have me someone to root hair for um on these so I gotta get to work on them as soon as I can so I don't miss that opportunity but anyway that is it thank you guys for watching I know this has been a very long video I don't know if I'm gonna do it as a premiere or not so that we can talk about it while you know we watch it mm, I might just do it and put the video up and you guys leave me comments and let me know what you guys are thinking guys make sure you follow me on Facebook. I am on there as Miss Serenity Smith. That is where I am listing when I, you know, when I put a baby up for sale, if it doesn't sell in the chat box within a couple minutes, because sometimes that happens and it don't make it out there, then that's the next place I'm going is to my Facebook page. Um, and just to share my, my, my collection. Um, and I, I will talk about that later, but I did reach 10 years of being a YouTuber. Um, so, um, I've officially been doing YouTube videos for 10 years. I know I have over 2,000 videos uploaded. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But anyway, um, follow me there. Follow me on Instagram, Miss Serenity Smith Babies. And if you're not a member of the Chatterbox and you want exclusive videos and exclusive live streams, you can join. The membership is $4.99 a month. And you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. The link is in the description bar or the join now button. And that's all I got for you guys. So thank you. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Come check us out. Because we love in this piece. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.